Okay, welcome back to another episode of uh, Cooking with Mr. Dan. Um, I don't know if you noticed in the past couple uh, videos, I've been sporting a new cap. <laughs> I got another one. I got a bunch of them, but this one I kind of liked. It was nice. It fit my head right off when I opened the bag. But uh, I think my ammo opened the bag. But anyway, it doesn't matter. All right, so what we're going to do now today is uh, Penny felt like barbecued uh, chicken. Well, <laughs> at a late time of the day, you know, so what we did, we went to the store and I got some chicken. They already filleted it. It was already, it was on sale, as a matter of fact. <laughs> so we got that. So this is going to be a quick thing. I used to, I did this for many, many years, a quick uh, barbecue chicken deal. It's really quick. You cook it in one pan, you're done. All right, let me uh, show you what we got to go. Okay, because we're on that weight thing now, so... This here is spray. I sprayed the bottom of this here pan. And as you can see, I lined all my chicken up. This is how the chicken came, this thick, like this. And I just cut them in strips, okay? And what we're going to do is I'm going to take this. I got the grill going out there. We're going to put this whole tray on the grill. And as these cooked, they're going to shrink down. So then these other three pieces will fit in like a glove. Then we're going to use, uh, and he got this a long time back. Well, not this particular bottle, but... Uh, we, we've been trying different ones that are zero sugar, carbs, and all this other stuff. So, and they usually taste pretty good. And what we're going to do is, after these cook down, okay, then I'm going to use that. And we're going to brush it on, flip it over, brush it on, and then let it cook a while. And then you're done. It tastes, tastes like you cooked it all day. But it's, it's an easy dish. It's one, two, three. So, let's get to it. Okay, a nice rainy overcast day in Florida. The birds are singing. Penny's listening to music, uh, but we're not scanning that way because she'll get mad if I do. So, But anyway, here we are. I just put them on the grill. I'm going to close the lid. And I'm going to cook those on each side for about, I don't know, maybe four minutes each side. But anyway, we'll be back. Okay, so as you can see, this is four minutes. And you can tell, if you guys can't tell the difference, I'm sure you can. But you can see it's uh, just the heat and the grill's cooking on both sides. All right, I'm going to start flipping them. Okay, as you see, I flipped them all, and over here, I put all the new pieces on that. That's it for the chicken. So a couple minutes, it'll be done. Okay, so for all of you uh, barbecue fans out there that want to watch what you're taking in as far as sugars and all that, see here, sugar-free, sugar-free. They're both zero points on Weight Watchers, and they are keto-friendly. So, anybody out there besides Linda and Joe that want to have something good to eat, this is the stuff to use. All right, we're going back to the grill. Okay, this chicken's been on there, I don't know, give or take eight minutes total time. And, you know, that's the reason you slice things thin. You know, like I said, you know, these breasts I got in the store, and they were already filleted. I would have filleted them myself, but uh, I just did that. It saved me time, and it was quick. Plus, I had a dollar off on each pack. <laughs> All right, let me show you the rest now. It's real easy. goes together quick. You guys are going to love this. Okay, I want you guys to watch this, because if you miss this step, you're not going to get it. See here? You just pour it on there. And like I say, this is all good for people that wants to go on Weight Watchers. I'm using uh, this one here, the Carolina Barbecue. Zero sugar. I don't know what they put in there, but it tastes good. And this is so easy to make. I've been doing this for years, way before I got married. But this here, it's a quick, easy thing to do. <clears throat> Let me tell you, it tastes that good that people are going to think you slaved it all day long. And, and you know, it, it's good. I might add some more, but then I just let this cook for a couple more minutes, and it's done. See? You just slather that on, and tell me that don't look good. Huh? And I noticed I, did, I just left the chicken juice that was already in there. I used to put olive oil in here, but, you know, Penny wants to do the, the diet thing, so, you know, that's what we're doing. I mean, I, I know I can use to stand to lose a few pounds, so I'm good. But see, we'll just let that cook for a few more minutes, and we'll check it again. 
And then we might say, hey, Mr. Dan will say, hey, we'll meet you at the taste test table. No, I'm going to flip these anyway. We've got to flip them over. Okay. My friends, we are back. Penny says, oh, it smells delicious. All right, hold on. Had a, it's raining, so I didn't want to lose anybody here. It's coming down really good, too. So anyway, as you can see, I'm going to put some more juice on here. But yeah, you just let this, and then you let these, when you bring them in, let them sit a few minutes. But they already got the flavor in them, so it's all good. They're already cooked through. I don't want to overcook them, but if you guys could smell this, oh my goodness. You think you died and went to heaven. So anyhow, let me uh, finish flipping these. It's hard to do everything with one hand holding the camera over this, this thing here. So, okay, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, as you guys can see... I did put some more um, barbecue sauce on there. So what's going to happen now? Because it's really coming down hard here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this down here. And we'll meet you at the taste test table, okay? I don't know if you guys can see the steam coming off here. I just brought them in. So uh, we'll be seeing you, I guess, at the taste test table somewhere. I'm trying to see if you can see any of the steam, but no. But it looks damn, it looks inviting. I mean, I'd want to eat it. I'm going to eat it. <laughs> You guys might not have ever had but I have. Okay, so anyway, here's the sauces. This is the ones that Penny likes, so they're good. That's uh, GU's uh, sugar-free barbecue sauce. And this here is the Carolina sugar-free barbecue sauce. <coughs> Penny likes them because they're, like I said, zero carbs. I mean, zero points for Weight Watchers. And they're keto-friendly also, so my daughter likes it. But anyway, they, it does taste good. And look at what it does to your chicken, see? Ooh! All right, we'll meet you at the taste test table. Okay, so here we are. Here you have it. We're going to taste test right now. Okay, at the taste test table again. But I like being here because I like to eat, so. All right, let's see how this works. Pretty tender, actually. Yep. Mmm. You know, for uh, a diet friendly sauce, I guess you would say, it's not really that thick, but the flavor that's in this thing is over the top delicious. So, if um, it took me, uh, like I said, I didn't have to do hardly anything to the chicken. Sure, I cleaned it up a little bit after I got it, but they had already filleted it. All I did was clean it up, slice it down the middle, pack it on a plate, put it in the refrigerator for a while, then go back out. Mm. On my pan. But yeah, this is uh, pretty tasty. You guys should give it a try. So, I mean, you saw how simple it was. I mean, really. <laughs> From the time I put it in there on the pan, you saw me, I sprayed it, took it outside, put it on the grill. That was about eight minutes. So, mm. but anyway. I don't want to spoil my dinner. <laughs> I'm going to have this with the uh, uh, cauliflower uh, mashed potatoes and some salad and a little bit of that uh, leftover casserole that I got, the cabbage casserole, Kentucky cabbage. But, yeah. Okay. So, without further ado, when you're out and about, please cover up to protect yourself as well as others. Wash your hands a lot. Uh, especially when you're out and about, when you get in the car, spray that stuff, that sanitizer on your hands, and you scrub away, and then take off and go where you got to go. Give me a like, share with your friends. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so, and there's a notification bell. If you haven't not uh, subscribed yet, once you hit that subscribe button, a little bell's going to pop up. When that pops up, you need to hit that also, because that will uh, let you know the next time I have a video. 
So, but if you've already done that, those two things on the subscribe and the bell, just leave them alone. Don't do that again because it'll just take you off the list, all right? So anyway, thanks for letting me share this with you. Uh, this is Mr. Dan. Uh, you guys stay hungry and come back when you are and we'll give you another nice recipe just like this one, a fast, easy barbecue chicken. This is Mr. Dan. We're out for now.